What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Ben, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In the last episode, we followed Yuga through a crack in the wall and ended up here in Low Rule. Now, in order to stop Yuga from destroying both Hyrule and Low Rule, we need to steal back the paintings that the Seven Sages are trapped in and rescue Princess Zelda. To do that, if you look on your map, you'll notice we have seven red X's. Those seven red X's are the temples that we need to go through and steal the paintings. You'll notice that one of the X's is actually right here. This, my friends, is the Thieves' Den. The Thieves' Den is going to be our first temple. We could do them in any order, but there's kind of an order that I want to stick to. Now, to get inside the Thieves' Den, we need to know a password, and while it's actually really easy to guess, for the sake of this Let's Play, I'll be getting it the way the game intended you to. But before we do that, what do you say we explore Low Rule a little bit and get to know the area? Because... While Hyrule and Low Rule are kind of like a mirror of each other, some differences do exist. Like the main landmarks are still the same. Like for instance, while this would be Kakariko in Hyrule and Low Rule, this is the Thieves Town. But for the most part, I will probably be referring to most of the Low Rule locations by their Hyrule names, just because why bother learning two names when one will suffice? So if I ever say like go to Kakariko and I'm in Low Rule. Chances are I'm talking about the Thieves Town. Anyways, check it out. There's a giant bomb there. That thing is freaking amazing, right? Like, it is way better than our puny little bombs that we are carrying around. I wonder if uh, we could actually borrow that for something. Let's check this sign. Bomb Flower Store. Hmm. Well, it's a store, and usually you buy things, so maybe, just maybe, we can use that big bomb. Yo ho ho, who is that who goes? Friend or foe, who is it? Do I know? Yeah, it's kind of a thing. A lot of the people in Low Rule like to sing. Not sure why. For bombs you seem to be searching. Well then, leave me to my researching. What I can sell you now is no no nothing. Sorry, I ain't got more for your mutton. Aw, what about that flower? Pa pa pa. Want the big bomb flower? Heck yeah, I do. Lucky you, I'ma lend in that power for one time fee. Use it for hours and hours. Oh yeah, the big bomb flower. Wanna know about its power? Well, not really, but you're gonna tell me anyways. So quiet. You know, silence glistens. That's fine with me. I'll just talk, and you just listen. The flower blooming in the garden is really a bomb, and it's a total bargain. Is that so? Just go on and touch it. It'll be a following bloom. Big bomb flower is gonna make big boulders go boom. But be careful, you know, just the slightest scratch will make it explode. This big flower is only found here. If you're interested, kid, you'll want to get near. Well, I'm definitely interested. How much is it? Want to use the big bomb flower for just 200 rupees? You can stop looking so sour. Sounds good to me. Go, go, go. It's growing outside. Try not out and take it for a ride. All right, sweet. And don't give me any flack. Big bomb flowers always grow back. Awesome, so for just like 200 rupees, we can now use this big bomb flower as much as we'd like, whenever we'd like. Obviously, the appeal for this thing is blowing up these giant boulders, which we've seen a few uh, already on the way down here. And, of course, now that we've actually blown that one up, we can get this bomb out of its corral and bring it pretty much wherever we'd like around low rule. Obviously, there are some limitations just due to how low rules like split up, but... We can blow up this giant boulder, so let's see what sort of secrets that thing was hiding. So mysterious. I wonder what's inside this cave. Well, it's actually a fairy's fountain, but this one's a little bit different than most. If we stepped on that pedestal in front of us, it would give us the opportunity to throw rupees into this fairy fountain. Now, throwing rupees into fairy fountains isn't as useful as it was in A Link to the Past. In this game, you need to throw 5,000 rupees into this fairy's fountain before you get the item from it. And the item that you get is an empty bottle, so it's not really worth it, and I wouldn't recommend it on a personal playthrough. But of course, since this is a 100% Let's Play, I will be covering that at some point. Although, I don't even have 5,000 rupees, so I couldn't do it now, even if I wanted to. Um, we're not done with our big bomb buddy, though, so let's grab him and keep exploring low rule just a little bit longer. There is one more giant boulder in particular that I would like to blow up, and that's all the way over in the Lake Hylia area. And uh, if you remember what the bomb shop owner told us, one scratch and this thing will blow up. So 
you kind of want to be careful because the low rule enemies, they will actually target the bomb if they see it before you. So, I don't know, just play it safe. And obviously, being at full health with the Master Sword is very helpful for taking out some of these low rule enemies from afar. And believe it or not, these guys actually do a ton of damage. Like, I'm pretty sure that uh, most of these enemies deal two hearts of damage. At least, like, the guys with the pitchforks do. The other enemies might only do like one heart or something like that, but still, oh my gosh, that was close. He almost blew up my bomb. I would have been really upset if that had happened, but we got lucky. Whatever. But yeah, like, the enemies deal a crap ton of damage. Um, we will get an item later on that will let us, like, negate some of that damage, but for now, just be careful because these guys can be kind of dangerous. Now, the boulder that I want to blow up is right there. The only problem is there's a ton of enemies in the way. Um... Screw it. I'm just gonna run for it. I might be able to sneak by here if I play my cards right. No freaking flying fungus! Gosh dang it. I hate that mushroom guy so much. Whatever. I'll be right back with another bomb. Alright, let's try this again. Ha! Dodged it that time, mushroom guy. And bam! Success! We got it. What's inside this cave, you might ask? Well, let's just say it was definitely worth coming back here twice for because... Chilling on the floor is a piece of heart. And by the way, we only need one more to fill up it in the heart container. But in chest number one, we got 100 rupees. And in chest number two, check it out. A gold rupee worth 300. Freaking crazy, right? It was totally worth coming back here for. Anyways, now that we got that, and um, we're only one more heart piece away from filling out another heart container... What do you say we go and grab another heart piece? I happen to know where one is. Although, to get it, we need to travel back to Hyrule. So, oh, you know what? Wait, before we do that, um, I want to activate the save location near Link's house in Low Rule, or, well, what would be Link's house if we were in Hyrule. In Low Rule, this is actually called the Vacant House. We can actually still use Irene's broom in low rule, which is why I'm, you know, going out of my way to activate these save locations. Anyways, let's travel back to Hyrule and get ourselves that piece of heart. Oh, hey, look, it's Hashwala. What's he doing here? Oh, my lad, you're alive! I thought that... No matter, I'm just glad to see you're alive and well. Please tell me, is Princess Zelda safe? Well, not really. She's kind of in a painting. I'm on it, though. I see. So you guys become evil itself. In a kingdom of shadow, curse him for all eternity! Strong words, man. His evil has spread even here, for just after you vanished into Hyrule Castle, a quake shook the kingdom! It left fissures like this all through Hyrule, and where there are cracks, can shattering be far behind? Dang, that's pretty deep, dude. Oh, Link! With Princess Zelda in our enemy's hands, Hyrule is on the brink of disaster! But you! You at least wield the sacred blade of legend, the Master Sword. Hope lives still, as long as you hold that sword, and your courage will surely see us through. The future of Hyrule Kingdom is in your hands, Link. Dang, that is a lot of pressure to put on a little kid. Oh well, we're ready for it. Anyways, uh, let's head over to the Eastern Palace. Yes, there's actually another hard piece in that location. Well, around that area, I guess. It's not really at the Eastern Palace, but that's our closest warp point. We couldn't pick this one up before because we didn't have the hammer, I believe. And of course, now that we've rented that, this one's going to be very, very easy to pick up. Like, you guys will be surprised at how simple this one is. So, if we just uh, come down here, check it out. Yeah, right in between these pegs is a piece of heart. So, let's grab our hammer and this will complete our ninth heart container. Sweet. Um, I'm kind of curious of what's in this cave. I'm pretty sure it's just another fairy's fountain, but let me double check real quick. A lot of you guys actually asked me where some of the fairy fountains were. There's a lot of them in this game, so just look around. They're pretty easy to find, but yeah, this one's just a standard fairy fountain. Nothing too special. All right, so that's all I really wanted to do here in Hyrule. So let's travel back to our house. And that way we can use that portal and go back to low rule because there's really not much we want to do in Hyrule at this moment. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to do here in Hyrule, but for the most part, we're going to be spending a majority of our time here in low rule. So, 
But let's head back to the Thieves Town and what am I doing? I just realized I don't need to walk back there because I can still use Irene to teleport. I even talked about that earlier in the episode, I think. Now, ah, whatever. So we pretty much finished off everything that I wanted to accomplish. I really just wanted to get our ninth heart container. So now, what do you say we uh, try and learn the password to the Thieves' Den? The password is actually three separate song lyrics, and you learn part of the lyrics from three different people. The first of which is this guy. Met the boss of our little village here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't waste time on someone like you. What's that supposed to mean? He's busy stashing away that new painting he got. Thing must be worth a fortune. Painting, you say, huh? If that thief girl knows where it is, she best keep her trap shut. Unless she wants to tell me where it is, heh. <laughs> that whole thing kinda inspired me. Actually, wanna hear my latest ditty? Oh, 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 wrong place, wrong time, and the boss will be glad to put you back in line. A smart thief fears the boss's wrath. I'd rather be on a cliff, walking a narrow path. Ah, well, that's a very interesting song lyric. There are still two more lyrics that we need to learn, and the people you learn them from are kind of spread out around the thieves town. I believe the second guy that we want to talk to is actually in this shop. So let's see. Yeah, there he is off to the left. He's got like a bag on his head. Boss went and hid my thief girl away where no one could hear what she had to say. Sometimes it hurts too much to care. You think knowledge is power, but it's really despair. That is really deep. Huh, what are you staring at? Look, I don't know nothing about that thief girl, okay? It's just a song. Boss locked her up somewhere and threw away the key. Why you gotta do that? Why? I don't know, man. I just got here. Jeez. But I think someone has a crush on the thief's girl. Anyways, it's not our problem to worry about right now. Instead, let's go and learn the last song lyric, which I believe the guy we need to talk to is inside this weird looking house. There he is. What's going on, buddy? Many years ago, I felt so free. Thought I chose the thief's life, but it really chose me. Every time I say I'm a leaving, this accursed life sets me right back to thieving. No, oh, hey there, little guy. Sorry, I was just singing out loud. It's an old tune you probably wouldn't know, hipster. What do you think of this place? A little too rough for you, eh? I don't mind it so much. At least there's still a strong musical culture in this town. It's a tradition with us. Ah, well, I guess that sort of explains why people in low rule always sing. Anyways, we've got all three song lyrics now, so... Let's see if they'll let us in that thief's den. Who's there? Nobody gets past me unless you know all the words to the Ultra Secret Thief password song. I'll start the lyrics and you finish them. That is, if you can, here we go. Ahem. A smart thief fears the boss's wrath. I'd rather be on a cliff, walking a narrow path. Sometimes it hurts too much to care. You think knowledge is power, but it's really despair. Every time I say I'm leaving, this accursed life sets me right back to thieving. That's probably the easiest one. Wow, what a fetching voice. Come on in, buddy. And there you have it, guys. We've done it. We can now enter the first low rule temple, the Thieves' Den. But we'll do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.